headed over to the Houston Cars and Coffee right now. Um, I'm about 20 minutes out, and so far the first, it's about an hour ride for me. The first 40 minutes were miserable, raining, foggy, kind of just awful Cars and Coffee weather. But the closer I get to the show, the more clear it's getting, which is awesome. The sky's clearing up, the roads are dry now, which is nice. It just sucks, and I have to wipe my car down when I get there. It's probably covered in road grime right now. Now, I'm cruising by myself. Like I said, I got about 20 minutes left. So I'll catch up with you guys once we get there. We'll see if anything good shows up. All right, I just parked up, and the lot is already full. So is the little satellite lot next to it. So going to do a quick walk around and see see everything that's here. This is probably the first time I've seen the Koenigsegg and it hasn't been crowded by 700,000 people at once. SV, McLaren. This Urus is crazy. You gotta see the interior on it. This thing is sick. E63 wagon. Never see one of these, especially this clean. Be very curious to see how many miles are on it. Check out this 400Z with the matching blue interior. This car is beautiful. This is one of those cars that I haven't seen very many of yet. I'm sure they'll end up popping up more and more, but this is probably the first one I've seen here. Matching blue interior, this is gorgeous. I love this thing. <clears throat> These wheels just complete the car. Make it look amazing. Pretty sure this GTR has a like Mystachrome wrap and I can't tell if they're matching wheels or not. I think they might just be blue. <clears throat> Definitely a crazy wrap. Exhaust tips to match too. Pretty cool. Finally get a chance to see Del Lambo's new car. He's currently hard at work over there <laughs> doing his thing. This is awesome. Finally got a chance to see it. Got this crazy lineup of Mopars. You got a TA, a 1320. It looks like a Daytona 392. A Daytona 57, it looks like, another Daytona 57, and then a wide body of some sort, which has been debadged. So, not sure. Oh, it is a Hellcat. Pretty solid lineup of Mopars right here. I mean, Corvette did a pretty good job at copying their homework. It's crazy. <laughs> These cars are so similar yet so different. It's pretty cool. So similar yet so different. I'm sure they're both blasts to drive nonetheless though. This is nice. This McLaren here on these wheels. I'm drawing a blank right now on the name of this McLaren. There's so freaking many of them. Uh, I think it's the GT actually. But and then there's a cool guy or a Huracan next to it with a bunch of forged carbon and some some numbers and whatnot on it. Yeah, this thing is dope. All right, <clears throat> can look at the Koenigsegg. Pretty much up close without anybody in the way, which is crazy. Carbon everywhere. Even the headlight casings are carbon, which is insane.
car is insane. I mean, the tub alone is like 14 inches wide. It's like sitting in a little cockpit in there. It's crazy. And these crazy doors too. All right, there's something crazy I gotta show you guys. It's not the Koenigsegg, it's not any of the Lamborghinis. <laughs> Take a look at this thing. Pretty sure it's a kitted C7. Crazy. It's got the exhaust coming out practically from the tail lights. This thing is crazy. Heard someone saying this might have been in Fast and Furious. And it's on 24 inch wheels, that's absurd. Got a bunch of forged carbon accents and stuff. I don't even see a door handle. That's crazy. This thing is awesome. <laughs> Diffuser is insane. I wonder how functional everything is. Like, just look at the profile of this thing. Whoever built it did a really good job. It hardly looks like it's that anymore. Got these two troublemakers. Big Stavert in the house. Got the RS3, just ran into him. Happy birthday, my man. And yeah, they weren't kidding. There is literally a cliff behind their cars. Oh man, that is terrifying. This is sweet. An E90 M3 with a blower on it. That's insane. Like, <laughs> it's probably a blast to drive. Probably sounds amazing.
right, that is going to wrap this video up. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you like and subscribe. And just like that, this video is over. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.